What's up guys, this is Jeff from Sorta Healthy, and today we'll be discussing whether an exercise science degree is worth it or not. I have a degree in exercise science from a pretty well-respected program, so I will be sharing first-hand experience in this video, and I'll be telling you what this degree has done for me and what it hasn't done for me. Also be aware that a degree in exercise science is almost exactly the same as a degree in exercise physiology or kinesiology. So consider this a review of all three of those different degrees. Of course, a huge part of what I try to do on this channel is I try to put out content that is helpful to personal trainers. So a big question that I'll be answering in this video, and it's a question that I actually get a lot personally, is whether or not a degree in exercise science is actually useful to personal trainers. So in this video, I'm actually gonna be starting something pretty unique in the personal training world. I'll be creating a tier list for pieces of personal training education. What is a tier list, you might ask? A tier list is a list that ranks things from S to D. S standing for special or the highest possible score, and then basically the scores or grades work down from there. An A is better than a B, and so on and so forth. So a degree in exercise science will be the first thing that I put on this tier list for personal trainer education. In my next video reviewing personal trainer education, I'll be covering some staples in the personal training world, and those educational courses include the NASM certification, the Precision Nutrition Level 1 certification, basically just the whole Idea World Conference, which is a pretty unique experience, and I'm also gonna throw a surprise certification or a learning experience on there too. And I'll probably roll that video out in the next week or two. But again, back to our degree in exercise science. Is it worth it? And if it is, who is it worth it for? So I'm gonna start off with a group of people who I think this degree is best for. Basically, if you want to pursue a master's degree or higher in a related field, an exercise science degree or a kinesiology degree or an exercise physiology degree, any of those degrees is a great foundation or it's a great place to start. Do you want to go into physical therapy? Well, an exercise science degree is gonna do you a lot of favors. Do you wanna be a chiropractor? Same thing, it's gonna help you out quite a bit to start off with an exercise science degree. And there are definitely a bunch of other jobs that this would apply to as well. Also, if you wanna go into cardiac rehab or if you wanna be a strength and conditioning specialist for say a professional sports team, well in that case, to even make the bare minimum requirements, you're gonna need at least a bachelor's degree in exercise science or related field. And honestly guys, there are probably a few other positions that might kind of fall into this same spot as well. Nothing comes to mind right now, but I'm sure those positions are out there. So yeah, basically the exercise science degree or something equivalent to that is the barrier to entry for a few positions out there. And it makes a good foundation to some master's degree programs and some PhD programs and you know a doctor of physical therapy as well. And of course, it's good for all of these things because it gives you a good foundation in anatomy, physiology, programming, and a bunch of other things too. So the next group of people that I'll be talking about is the group of people where that exercise science degree, it might be worth it for them, but it also might not be worth it for them. And this group of people would be people who are interested in running their own fitness facility, or at the very least managing someone else's fitness facility. Now make no mistake, by no means do you need a degree in exercise science to do either of these two positions. But also keep in mind that if you do get a degree in exercise science, you will gain a certain level of credibility and respect as well. And I can speak from experience here because this is me. I run my own personal training studio and clients have sought me out in part because of my degree in exercise science. And it's not like it's ever just that. They're also seeking me out because of my years of experience, my reputation, my reviews online, and my other credentials that I've earned throughout the years. But again, that degree in exercise science, it definitely has been a selling point for me for some years now. And that extra credibility has opened a few doors for me and I think it's definitely helped me be extra successful in the field. Something that I mentioned back there was that this degree opened a few doors for me and it's possible that it could do so with a fitness related employer for you as well. However, if you're looking to go into personal training, I would say that it's not going to make a huge difference compared to people who just have a regular certification, such as NASM or ACE or anything else. If you have an exercise science degree, you might get paid like a dollar more per hour when you first start, again, compared to someone with a more basic personal training certificate. And maybe you might rise through the ranks a little bit faster than someone who just has, say, again, a personal training certificate. But these aren't definite things, and by no means do they offset the cost of the education that you'll be paying for. Okay, so now we get to the group of people 
who this degree is honestly just, it's really not worth it for these people. So before we go over that guys, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you very much for all the support guys, it means a lot to me. And because of you guys helping the channel to grow, it's going to allow me to keep making videos like this one and other videos to help you guys just do your thing and do it better than ever. Anyway, back to the video. And now we get to the group of people who I just think this degree is really not worth it for. And that group of people is any health or fitness professional or personal trainer who basically just wants to do that one thing, whether it's you know group classes or just personal training. If you just wanna be a full-time personal trainer and make a good living doing that, which you certainly can, there's really no point in getting that degree in exercise science, in my opinion. Again, yes, your starting pay might be very slightly higher, and you might get a tiny bit more respect from certain clients, but in no way, shape, or form is that going to offset the amount of money that you're gonna be paying for college. The average salary of a personal trainer in the United States is somewhere between forty dollars and $60,000, depending on which online site you wanna believe. I tend to think it's somewhere closer to that $40,000 mark, but it's hard to say because with a lot of these sites where people are reporting their incomes, I would assume that you're getting trainers who are making a higher than average salary reporting their incomes more often. But either way, whether it's $40,000 or $60,000, even if it's a little bit more than that, my point is, is that you're not making that much money as a personal trainer, unless you're in like that top, top, top tier of personal trainers, you're not making a ton of money. And then of course you have expenses, you have your rent, your mortgage, your car, your car insurance, your food, everything else. When you throw a few hundred dollars a month of student loans into that mix, your finances can get dicey pretty fast. And then you also have to take into account that if you wanna work full time as a personal trainer, you're not gonna be fully booked right away. That's gonna take you a few years to book up and just to get a decent income going. And that's only if you're really good. A lot of trainers never even make it to that full-time status. I'm definitely not trying to turn anybody away from this field. I think it's a great field and you can make a great living doing this. However, the ROI or return on your investment in an exercise science degree, if all you wanna do is personal training, is pretty terrible. You can learn anatomy, physiology, programming, and pretty much everything else that you're gonna to need to know in a certification program that's gonna cost so much less, like not even in the same realm as a degree in exercise science. And not only that, you can knock out that certification in just a few months, whereas a degree in exercise science takes four years, at least. So you can take all that extra time and just start working earlier and start getting promotions and raises. And yeah, it's just better. It's just better. If all you wanna do is personal training and you wanna do that full time, just get a certification and get good experience and keep growing as a trainer from there. Now, personally for me, I do feel like a degree in exercise science was probably worth it. I won't lie to you guys though. Sometimes I wish I had just gotten a degree in business and focused on the personal training stuff later. So if you're like me and you feel like you need to go to college, but you also wanna run a fitness business, maybe consider going that route instead. I do want to restate though that I'm not mad that I did get a degree in exercise science and it has worked out pretty well for me. So where would I put a degree in exercise science on our tier list for personal trainer education then? Basically the way I'll be scoring these will be based on three factors. One, how helpful it will be to trainers. Two, the cost. And three, the time or how long does it take to get it done? Based on these three factors, I'm going to put a degree in exercise science or exercise phys or kinesiology into C tier. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it was very close to D tier. It's just not worth the money for the average personal trainer. The only reason it ended up in C tier was because it can open some doors for a personal trainer and can be useful for respect, especially if you want to run your own business. In an upcoming video, I'll be adding four more trainer education courses to this list. Those four things will be the NASM Personal Trainer Certification, the Precision Nutrition Level 1 Certification, the whole Idea World Conference, and a surprise one that I'm not telling you guys about yet. One of these four education options is going to get a perfect S grade, so make sure to like the video and subscribe so you catch that one too. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, we'll be adding more personal training educational courses to this tier list over time. That way you don't waste any of your hard earned trainer money on continuing education garbage. And that's all we have for today. Again, do not forget to like and subscribe, and I hope I see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.